Okay, so in this video, we are gonna do goniometry and manual muscle testing for hip flexion. So hip flexion happens in the sagittal plane. The normal end feel is soft, and the normal value is zero to 120. So the standard testing position is the patient is in supine, and we're gonna start off by palpating greater trochanter because that's where the fulcrum of the goniometer is going to be lined up with. So I'm gonna place my hand right along the lateral, slightly posterior side of her hip, and then if I give tactile cues, just when I, so I would say, I want you to roll this leg in and out. And if I'm giving her tactile cues to do that, my hand has to be proximal to the knee and not distal, because I don't want to introduce a rotational movement into the knee and irritate anything in the knee. So make sure that you are proximal to the knee. All right, so roll this leg in and out. Great, take a little break. Okay, so I'm gonna keep my fingers on greater trochanter and I'm gonna give her her cue, which is to bring her knee to her chest. Good, and then I'm gonna place fulcrum, sorry, over greater trochanter. And the stationary arm has nothing to do with the lateral midline of the thorax. Now it has to do with being parallel to the lateral midline of the pelvis. So the pelvis goes from like greater trochanter to iliac crest. I'm only looking at this component here. So most of the time it's gonna be parallel with the bed. Um, and then I'm coming up to lateral midline of the femur using that lateral condyle as my point it started here and it comes all the way up here so she's at 112 degrees of hip flexion okay we're going to mmt now so i'm going to have you sit on the short edge of the bed of the table okay so i highly recommend that you use the short edge of the table for your hip flexion mmt because if she's here, I can, I can use my stabilization hand and my resistance hand, and I'm in good body mechanics. In fact, I would have you scooch just a tiny little bit this way. Stay where, stay where you are. But if she was in the center of the long edge of the table, I've gotta now lean over to stabilize and provide resistance, and we don't wanna introduce all that twisting and bending into the back. The second thing I'm gonna mention is you can't have the, the patient may want to wrap, why don't you wrap your hands around here? May wanna wrap her fingers around the edge of the table, that's a compensation, so we're not gonna let her do that. Okay, good, so hands flat on the top, perfect. So what I'm gonna have her do is I'm gonna say, can you bring your knee up toward the ceiling as high as it'll go? That's her three, and then four or five, I'm gonna push down, take a little break while I talk. My resistance is gonna push her knee back down. Resistance and stabilization is always in the opposite direction. So technically, the actual stabilization is happening where the table is pushing up on her ischial tuberosity, right? So I'm not gonna put my hand under there, but I still want you to use two hands and always have two hands on your patient while you're doing MMT. So we're gonna put the stabilization hand just on the ipsilateral PSIS. Okay, so again, I'm gonna have you bring this knee up, stay strong, don't let me push you down, stay strong, stay strong. Good, so that's the four and the five. If I wanted, depending on my height, my strength, the height of the table, the strength of the person's leg, all of those factors, I could stand on a, on a footstool it would just give me a little bit more leverage. So let's do that again. Don't let me push you down, stay strong, stay strong. So it makes it a little bit easier for me if I gain that leverage. So that's three, four, and five. Let's go to gravity eliminated. So gravity eliminated would be you lying on your left side. And I'm gonna stand, yep, because we're still testing the right leg. I'm gonna stand in front of the person and I'm gonna, um, Hold this leg out straight. I'm gonna say, can you bring your knee to your chest? Wait, I want you totally on your side. On your side. Oh, sorry. It's okay, you were like kind of quarter turned toward supine and I didn't want that. Okay, so I'm still stabilizing proximal to the knee, proximal to the ankle. And I would say, can you bring your knee to your chest? All the way up to your chest. You can bend your knee too. There you go. So she's got her full two, full range, gravity eliminated if she went through more than half, but not all of it, two minus, some of it not even half, one plus. Um, and we're not gonna palpate each other, but if you had to differentiate between a one and a zero, you're palpating the hip flexors, um, medial to sartorius right in the groin area. And that's that.